Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. I know we are a bit behind. Let's get into your reading Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In regards to love and romance spirits, what are the messages for Cancers? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance for the month remaining of November, beginning of December 2020. How are you doing, Cancer? How are you feeling? How have you been dealing with these energies? We're about to find out, right? <laughs> All right, let's get into it. You have the King of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Two of Wands. All right? Partner or Person of Interest cards, Five of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Magician, and the Three of Wands. Okay. All right, Cancer, what's going on? All right, you may be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Uh, for others of you, there is a bit of water here as well. So it could be a Scorpio, it could be a Pisces or a Cancer like yourself. Fire is here as well. All right, so what they're telling you here is at the present time, it's going to be very important for you guys to keep communication open. This is going to be like crucial as the days progress. Now, what they're saying here is with the six of wands, there is almost like a feeling of not being able to fully express yourself, Cancer. And this could be something that the energies could be currently influencing you as well. It's almost as if you're dealing with a lot of emotions you're trying to process them or even express to your partner how you're feeling and you find it very difficult um and that's not something normal for cancers because you guys have a tendency of over expressing right um you know when it comes to emotions but what they're showing me here is that there's almost like a blockage of communication for some of you guys it could even be that you are currently dealing with the person that perhaps is not fully like communicating with you at the present time for some of you guys it could even be like you were ghosted that type of energy um because i do have the seven of cups here and it's like you're confused you're confused about why there's no clarity or why there's no communication um but i do see the two of wands here so there is there's a bit of fogginess right now, and this could be something that you're experiencing in your current relationship, and you're, if you're in a long-term relationship, it's almost feeling like you kind of feel like it's not as intense or as passionate as it was, and you're like in your head a lot, trying to figure out, you know, have they lost interest in me? Am I not, you know, exciting like I once was? And it, this is, I see you guys like internalizing all of this. Um, maybe not fully expressing but in your head it's like that's what's been on your mind or that's how you've been feeling but i do see that at the end of the month you're gonna feel a little bit more empowered you're gonna feel like you're gonna take your power back basically you're gonna be like you know what fuck this shit you like it, you know if they're not as you know passionate or giving me the time of day or even uh, for those of you guys that were dealing with a specific person, if they ghosted me, like, fuck that. Like, I'm just going to, you know, keep doing me and worry about me. And when you start to flow with that energy, boom, they start reaching out. They start communicating with you. Um, they come back around. For some, it could be that there was um, some type of situation where they felt or the person of your interest felt like their pride uh, had something to do with the reason why they're not communicating i do see communication however with the ace of swords so again i feel that at the end of the month they're going to be more clear and you may actually find out like if you're you know they follow you on social media or stuff like that it could have been something that triggered them um or triggered like their insecurities um especially if you're getting like a lot of attention or people like commenting under your pictures and stuff like that it could be that because i feel that they're like uh in their head and the reason why they're in their head is because they're in their feelings um with the five of swords it usually indicates like pride to me um so it could be something very you know very petty where over here you're like you know stressing and worried about why they're not communicating um 
and making a thousand scenarios but what they're telling you it's it's really they just lack <laughs> they lack the ability to communicate um with the ace of swords again there is clarity that's coming through there is communication that opens up here with the magician and the three of wands um being concise and being clear about you know what went wrong in this connection or it could have even been that you've been busy um and they felt like you were rejecting them or you weren't giving them enough attention so they kind of uh, took it a little bit back you know their energy and it's it's just miscommunication is what it is that's what they're saying here um but again like i said at the end of the month there will be clarity or communication now if you were one um that was ghosted or the person just completely stopped texting you or whatnot what they're saying here is uh this is a person that's very connected to their ego and perhaps just don't waste your time, Cancer, to be honest. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is because with the Ace of Swords and the Magician, this is like uh, a person or an individual that's very strong in their how they view themselves or what they believe. Um, and in not in a very positive way with the Five of Swords, right? Because it's connect very connected to ego. So it could be a cocky person or it could be a person that is used to getting attention whenever they want so you were busy or you were doing your life and you weren't communicating as much um so they kind of felt rejected so now it's like okay well i'm gonna show her or i'm gonna show him that type of energy and you really don't want that now the message here is unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so again if you guys are dealing with this type of energy of a person that you know is communicating with you but the moment you feel like you either stop because you want them to put effort they're not willing to put effort and the reason for that is because it could be that you're dealing with the person that is so used to people following them instead of them doing the chase so um, and if you do actually feel like you are much more interested in them than they are in you um, don't go chasing anyone cancer like let them you know show you that they want you in their life and if they don't then you know open the damn door and show them the way you feel me all right my lovelies i hope you guys i hope this gives you guys some type of clarity um and uh yeah so we'll see each other soon all righty bye